We begin with a violent night across the city of Houston. Six different shootings that left four people dead, including a father who was shot just a few feet away from his four-year-old son. ABC 13's TJ Parker joins us live now with what happened right before that gunfire in southeast Houston. TJ? Yeah, Tom, Houston police are still trying to figure out the circumstances surrounding it. It happened at this apartment behind me here at a complex off of uh, Royal Palms and Griggs. Police got the call before 1.30 this morning. They tell us someone knocked at the victim's door. When he answered, he was shot and killed. The shooting started as soon as he opened the door, and at least two shots were fired. Officers on scene say the victim's roommate then grabbed a gun and tried shooting back, but ended up missing. The victim's four-year-old son was also inside asleep when this happened. He was not hurt. And was released to his mom. Police also say they have a suspect and or person of interest in mind that they would like to talk to. So if you have any information, you're asked to call Houston police or Crime Stoppers. Right now, police have not yet released any names. In Southeast Houston, I'm TJ Parker, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Police released surveillance video of this robbery. This happened at the Candlewood Suites off FM 1960. The robber came looking for cash, but it appears he ran off before he got anything. If you know about this or recognize him, call Crime Stoppers. There is a big reward. Now to the latest on the coronavirus pandemic. The U.S. death toll has now reached 23,000, with the virus now claiming lives in all 50 states. In our region, there are more than 5,500 cases, but only 93 deaths so far. About 1,000 people have recovered so far. This morning, Spring ISD says it has suspended meal distribution at Anderson Elementary because a worker who'd been assisting tested positive. The district says other workers have now been asked to self-quarantine for the next two weeks. But food distribution will go on through Friday at different schools. You can get meals distributed on Mondays and Wednesdays at Bailey, Booker, Clark Primary, Clawton, McNabb, Reynolds, and Westfield Elementary Schools. Beginning today, Houston is expected to double its capacity to test for the coronavirus. New sites are opening. One at Butler Stadium in southwest Houston remains open. The other at Del Mar in the northwest side. And Courtney Fisher is live to explain the other big advancement in testing today. Courtney, good morning. Good morning, Tom. Yeah, so they've been testing about 500 people at big sites like this one, Del Mar, each day. And now they'll be able to test 1,000 people here and at Butler Stadium. You see those white tents, there are police out here as well. No doubt those lines will start soon. This is a big deal, too. You don't have to feel sick. You don't have to show any symptoms to get tested for COVID-19. But this is very important. You must come with an identification code. You can't just show up without that code. You get the code by calling this number on your screen, 832-393-4220. You can call starting at 9 a.m. until 7 p.m. They'll also tell you what testing site you must go to. If you show up here without a code, know that you cannot get tested. Testing is free, but health officials are asking if you have insurance, bring your card so they can take down that information. For now, reporting live, Courtney Fisher, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. I'm Jeff Ealing in Sugarland, where Fort Bend ISD officials are trying to figure out just when the senior class of 2020 will be able to walk across the stage for graduation. Seniors are going to get their diplomas and be considered graduated May 28th, which is the last day of school. That way, seniors can send their transcripts to wherever they need to go. However, the district is considering holding a face-to-face -face graduation ceremony sometime in July, possibly at the Smart Financial Center. They just can't hold those graduation ceremonies now. Details still in the works about that. And district officials are also looking into options for prom and other school based events. The problem right now is that school officials just don't know when we'll all be able to gather in large groups again. Once that's figured out, school officials say they'll let seniors know. Reporting live, Jeff Eeling, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. <laughs> That's HISD's Waltrip High School Jazz Ensemble, and they have just snagged a chance to work with a Grammy Award-winning artist. The band submitted a video performance for a national competition against 30 schools in the U.S. and Canada, and now they've been given the opportunity to perform with Bob Mincer in a special concert after winning. This is great, great news, and just great kudos for the kids and, and, and students involved all together. I mean, the jazz Ensemble number one musicians are, are just fantastic and amazing to me. Mincer will visit the school to perform in a special concert once schools open again, maybe next fall.
All right, here's your weather forecast you're going to like. Colin? Yeah, you know, uh, finally some good news in the weather department, too. Going to be absolutely fantastic. Take a look. 66 by noon today. If you loved yesterday, it's going to be exactly the same. Maybe one degree of difference. 68 by 3 o'clock. Plenty of sun out there. These clouds are going to clear. We had a brilliant sunrise. Look at that. Awesome shot looking towards downtown. And uh, the shot of the sunrise this morning as we look east and a little bit northeast. Temperature started in the 40s to the 50s. But slowly and surely will warm up over the next five to 10 days. So enjoy this weather now because changes certainly coming all clear on radar. Uh, but by this time next week, we'll watch another system approach us. And this one is going to be more powerful, especially on Wednesday this weekend, maybe a week front Sunday. But again, notice it doesn't change our temperatures much. So enjoy these next few days. After that, it's right back into the muggy 80s. All right, we'll love it for three days. Thanks for joining us. Hope you have a great day.